and I didn't you know, think that anyone was going to get scared. Dimitri Andrechenko dressed in fatigues and armed up with a tactical rifle, a pistol and 100 rounds of ammo. He walked into the Walmart neighborhood market to take advantage of his Second Amendment right and Missouri law to carry a gun openly. He says he was right about people's reactions. At first, they didn't seem alarmed, but then the fire alarm was pulled. No one looked like they were scared. No one looked frightened. There was no one screaming. No one was getting trampled. It just looked like a very civil evacuation of the building. He tells us at first he didn't realize the mass exodus was because of him until he found himself held at gunpoint by a well-trained military veteran and concealed carry permit holder. It was foolish. I, I didn't give it thought. He also says the shootings in El Paso and Dayton that were fresh in most people's minds never entered his mind, and now he regrets his timing. I just want people to know that I'm, I'm not a bad person. I, I, I would never, ever hurt anyone. But Andrewchenko says he now realizes he could have been shot. Praise God that he was trained and uh, that he was able to see that I wasn't threatening anyone and, and didn't, didn't shoot me. Andrew Chinko says he even talked to a Walmart manager on his way there. I, I mean, I called Walmart to make sure this was allowed, um, and they said it was, so. If, open carry. Yeah, yeah, like in, in their lo like long rifles. I called and asked if I can open carry a long rifle, so. And they said you could? Yeah. I had my phone out just in case if a man asked me to leave, that proof that I was cooperating. And um, I put my vest on, grabbed my gun, grabbed a shopping cart. His attempt to defend his gun rights now has him defending his motive and actions. That's not how I wanted to be perceived.